It never works that way. Uh, you know, your safety in your drugs, for instance, uh, uh, it sounds like a reasonable thing, you know, you want safety in your drugs, but the, uh, the, F the FDA and the drug companies are in bed together, and they, they squeeze out competitions and, and build up their monopolies, and they love government medicine because uh, they make more money, the insurance companies and the drug companies, whether it's Democrats or Republicans reforming the medical care system, these corporations run the show. You know, they, they support this because uh, the government doesn't take it over. It's the corporations that end up taking over. So, um, you know, it's well intended, but uh, I, I think it's, uh, it always backfires on us and that uh, the uh, people you're wanting to regulate end up writing their own regulations. So in that particular case, would the reasonable alternative be no FDA? I think so. I think so because uh, uh, I don't think I think they've done more harm than good because sometimes um, sometimes it might take them 25 years to to allow a good drug to come on to the marketplace and uh, and and the rules and regulate inhibits the options of the physician to use drugs for anything other than not approved by the FDA, which means it slows up research and it, the cost goes up, and then when it's approved by the FDA. Guess what happens if you're on the inside track of that? Today I approve this. I'm the FDA. Today I approve this drug. Tomorrow, their drug company's value, their stock goes up 50-fold just because a bureaucrat made this decision. So it's it's a protection of the corporations. It's basically what it is. They, they but, but but we we people weren't dying from bad drugs before we had the FDA. I mean, it just it didn't happen. It did. Uh, there'd, there'd be other agencies that would, would do this, and uh, there'd be no reason to assume that all of a sudden the drug companies have it in their interest to give you a bad drug. Well, I'm not sure what thalidomide fits into there, uh, but it's, and it's hard to prove a negative, but is, are you assuming that there are no bad drugs? Excuse me, there are... There's, there's plenty of bad drugs, and the FDA's permitted a lot of them to get on the market, too. How many, how many bad drugs are on the market now? Did you ever see a PDR? They're about that big, and probably half of them are useless, you know. They, but if it's FDA approved, and what does the FDA do uh, when it comes to alternative or natural products? The FDA and the drug industry keeps them off the market. A natural drug product, alternative health care, freedom of choice, it is obstructed. Uh, from those making those free choices, so it's there to protect the drug industry. So they're not there. They very often do exactly the opposite. I believe in free choice on on picking alternative care, and rather than having it licensed through uh, uh, through the FDA and these drug approvals. Uh, I mean, it, uh, it, it delays. It costs so many. This is one reason why drug costs are so high because it goes through these years and years and years of litigation getting approval, and that's a source of making drug costs much higher in cost. So how do we get to this mess? Let's just stick with FDA or go with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. But how is it that this body of burdensome regulations was allowed to develop? It, was it, is it, is it private sector, second parts of the private sector finding ways to protect themselves, or, or what? I, mean, I don't know. I, I, I haven't, you know, done a detailed history of exactly this, but the, my assumption would be that there'd be a lot of well-motivated people and say, well, we need these regulations to help and co help the people and protect the people. But those individuals, the companies that are involved, immediately a leap to it. Uh, and uh, take over and uh, find out how they can keep out their competition, no matter what industry it is, you know, whether it's the housing industry, housing insurance, uh, uh, it's always to squeeze the little guy out and protect the big industries. Uh, so uh, it, it never serves, competition serves the, com the competitor who's trying to compete with big industry. And uh, I don't like to see government protecting big industries and big corporations.